Hello everyone, it's Kirk Cocker, the registered nurse from Cape Ann Botanicals and Cape Ann Cannabis here in the North Shore of Massachusetts. I'd like to talk a little bit about pain management today. Cannabis has been documented as an effective pain reliever for centuries. Since 1999 here in America, we've had a steady increase in opioid overdose deaths. 60 to 40,000 deaths a year. This should be treated as the urgent crisis that it is. Cannabis and CBD have never directly killed anyone. Some of us that work in the healthcare industry believe this is our answer to the opioid crisis. It is safer and has additional properties due to multiple effects on different receptors and physiological mechanisms. I myself use a high CBD oil, 35 to 1, and, and I use a cream for breakthrough pain in the daytime. And at night, if I'm having a problem sleeping or break really severe breakthrough pain, I'll use an edible or a smokable. If it's localized pain that you're dealing with, like hip pain or knee pain or shoulder pain or hand pain, back pain, I would definitely recommend using a topical first. And if you're not getting the relief from that, then add maybe another route like sublingual oil, a capsule, or a gummy. I would suggest a full plant formula if you're going to get that THC product, CBD and THC together, one to one, two to one, four to one, or even the 35 to one uh, oil that I take daily. An edible or oil under your tongue takes time to work, one to two hours, and the duration is, is, is six to eight hours, which is a good period of time. When we smoke, it's instantaneous typically, but the duration is only about two to four hours. So you'd have to reconsume to try to fight pain. That's why I like the sublinguals or the edibles for pain relief. Since every patient di responds differently, it's always a trial and error. So if you don't get success the first time, try a new product. If you do use a cannabis product that's high THC, please be very careful if you're taking opioid medications or alcohol with those. It can increase the effectiveness of those. If no success with the CBD product, what I would recommend is try a different category of phytocannabinoids, maybe CBDA or THCA. Using a rule in or rule it out process or method, starting low and increasing until you get the desired effect. If you don't get the effect from one cannabinoid like CBD, then you should maybe add another cannabinoid to see if we can enhance the first one. Go low and go slow. Also realize that cannabinoids, sometimes smaller amounts work better. Well, thanks for chiming in. If you have any other questions, please reach out to me on the Cape Ann Botanicals and Cape Ann Cannabis website, which is on a slide just following this. So take care and be safe out there.